everyone good morning today we will discuss from today onwards we will start with physical anthropology first i will tell you the importance of physical anthropology see physical anthropology constitutes 1.7 9.1 9.8 10th unit 11th unit and 12th unit this together is called as physical anthropology exclusive physical anthropology is 1.7 9.1 to 9.8 10 and 11 is exclusive physical anthropology 12th unit is applications of anthropology 12th unit is applications of anthropology the physical anthropology is the most important module of anthropology the most important module in paper 1 you have to attempt for 250 marks and for 250 marks they will be allotting you but eight questions will be there 18 to 50 400 marks will be given in the question paper out of 8 you have to attempt 5 5 into 50 250 marks but our oh, question paper va value will be for 400 marks in the 400 marks of paper 150 marks will come from this physical anthropology from 400 marks of paper 150 marks come from this particular module called as physical anthropology if you are confident that my physical anthropology i am strong your paper one is strong and if someone asks me sir in paper 1 there is anthropological thought module 6 7 8 units socio cultural anthropology module 2 3 4 5 and evolution of man module 1 unit number 1 and archaeology module 1.8 sir which i have to attempt first in the final examination which i have to attempt to final in the examinations directly openly clearly very spontaneously i will tell attempt to physical anthropology first give priority to physical anthropology why because physical anthropology is science in science for question there will be answer if you write the answer you will get the marks that's it like mathematics hence proved but in socio cultural anthropology your thought it's art socio cultural anthropology is about art of writing an answer how you write an answer how you present the answer how many examples you add to it relevantly how answer is relevant anthropological thought how you are understanding from his perspective and how you are applying it to the contemporary societies so the socio cultural anthropology as well as anthropological thought i am not telling it is negative i am not telling it is it's 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 not important i am telling you comparatively physical anthropology how to perform better comparatively physical anthropology how to be very strong why because science so their art of writing an answer here science of writing an answer science is very easy scientific rational for a question if there is an answer you will get a marks one particular formula will be there one particular procedure will be there for that particular procedure if you have points you will get marks so physical anthropology constitutes of paper 1 1.7 paper 1 1.7 9.1 to 9.8 10 11 and 12 and in this overall it will is going to carry up to 150 marks and today i am going to discuss about 1.7 which is introduction which is basics from last 10 years there is no direct question from 1.7 from last 10 years there is no direct question from 1.7 but if you understand 1.7 you will understand 9.1 to 9.8 you will understand 10th unit you will understand 11th unit without understanding 1.7 you cannot go into 9.1 to 9.8 or 10 or 11 that much important is 1.7 the biological basis of life so for this not a single question from this unit but i am going to take 4 hours two classes i will dedicate for this particular unit 1.7 the basis of human life biological basis of human life so what are the topics which are present in this particular unit the cell the chromosome the dna the dna structure the dna replication protein synthesis cell division in cell division in cell division we are going to have vegetative cell division non vegetative cell division which is also called as sexual cell division which is called as mitosis and meiosis so the 1.7 is going to carry about cell chromosomes dna cell structure dna structure dna replication as well as protein synthesis and in cell division we are going to have mitosis and meiosis so these are all the topics we are going to discuss in this particular unit the cell the dna structure dna replication protein synthesis gene mutation chromosomes and cell division so cell for the first time was been found in one of the magnifying device which is also called as a microscopic device 
by first person called as Robert Hooke when he was seeing into a magnifying device Robert Hooke. He found some cork like substances, he, it is a blood which was kept on a test. For test when he is seeing into the blood through magnifying device or a microscopic device, he found some cork like substances who the Robert Hooke in 1665. And this Robert Hooke gave the first time, the first man to give the word called a cell. Then he told there are some cells within the blood. So then came the existence of the concept called a cell. And then the Robert Hooke started studying more about the cell. Then Robert Hooke entered and magne he took this particular cork or this particular part of the cell and he started looking through the microscopic device. Then he found the various parts of the cell. So the first person who, who identified, not discovered, who identified cell in the human body is called as Robert Hooke in 1665. And he told that, and he told that cell is the building block, cell is the building block of an tissue and tissue is the building block of organelle and organelle is the building block of organ and organ is the building block of organism. In this way, the growth of an organism happens. It might be a plant organism or an animal organism or a human organism. So, it starts with cell the combination of cells is called as tissue and the combination of tissues is called as organelles. Organelles combine to form organ, organ combine to form. So, in this way the organism has been evolved. So, we can tell that the very building block of the human organism or the very building block of any organism on the earth is cells. And the cell was been for the very first time was been discovered by this particular person in 1665 Robert Hooke. And the cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism, it is the smallest is a very very smallest and functional unit of an organism. So, complete organism, my complete organism is mainly because of cells. Cells is the smallest structural and functional organism of a body. The complete body is because of cell. So, this cell is evolving into tissues, the tissues are evolving into organelles, organelles or organs evolving into organism. In this way, there is formation of an organism. In this way, there is, there is a formation of organism. So, what constitutes cell? What constitutes cell? In this cell, what it constitutes? So, there is a cell membrane. There is a cell membrane. There is a cell membrane. In cell membrane, there is nucleus. In cell membrane, in cell membrane, there is nucleus. In nucleus, there is chromatin. The zigzag or the winded form of a thread like structure is called as chromatin and the organized form of chromatin is called as chromosome. So, in originally in the cell inside the nucleus there is chromatin. The chromatin is winded form. That winded form of thread like structures are called as chromatin. When they are arranged form it is called as chromosome and the individual chromosome is called as chromatid. It is present inside the nucleus. And the nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. It is surrounded by nuclear membrane and the cell is surrounded by a cell membrane. Cell, there are two types of cells are there. One is called as eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are those cells which are having multiple elements within the cell or eukaryotic organism we can tell. Eukaryotic organism is that organism which is having multiple cells. If multiple cells are there, it is called as eukaryotic organism. Prokaryotic organism means single celled. There will be only single cell without any nucleus. Single celled organisms are called as prokaryote. Prokaryote means single. Remember like this. Pro single prokaryotic organisms. So, there will be only one single cell and there will be no nucleus that is called as prokaryotes. Eukaryotic means every organism, eukaryotic organisms are those organisms which is of multiple cells, human organism or plant organism or animal organism is eukaryotic. Why? Because eukaryotic organisms are those organisms which are having multiple cells with nucleus. Whereas, prokaryotic organism is that organism which is having only one cell without nucleus like blue green algae, like amoeba, like bacteria. Single celled organisms are called as prokaryote, multiple celled organisms are called as eukaryote. So, that cells 
are enclosed by a cell membrane that cell is enclosed by cell membrane so in between the cell membrane and nuclear membrane in between the cell membrane and nuclear membrane there is a jelly like substance there is a jelly like substance called as cytoplasm in this cytoplasm there is endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes mitochondria these are the most important elements i am not going to discuss about all the elements of the cell the cells the or the elements which are very important for physical anthropology the cells which are very useful for understanding the reproductive process only we will be understanding so there is a cell membrane there is a nuclear membrane inside the nuclear membrane there is chromatin the winded form of thread like structure is called as chromatin and the organized form of chromatin is called as chromosomes and the individual standard form of chromosome is called as chromatid in between the nuclear membrane and the cell membrane there is a jelly like substance called as cytoplasm in that cytoplasm we have various elements in that cytoplasm we have various elements those elements are like endoplasmic reticulum like ribosomes like mitochondria this all together constitutes in cytoplasm and inside the nucleus it is nuclear membrane and chromatin is present in this way so there is cell membrane there is a cell membrane inside the cell membrane there is nucleus and nuclear membrane this is chromatin this is chromatin and inside the cell membrane and outside the nuclear membrane there is cytoplasm in this cytoplasm there is mitochondria which are called as power houses of the cell mitochondria gives energy in the form of atps mitochondria will consume the food and it will give in the form of energy atp energy will be given by mitochondria there is ribosomes the small small things are called as ribosomes in the ribosomes only protein synthesis will happen if i am talking i am taking the lecture i am moving i am moving i moved from here to there i am talking with you i am converting i am conversing this all is nothing but protein synthesis in my body if protein synthesis are happening then only i can survive in my body if protein synthesis are happening then only i can deliver if in my body if protein synthesis are happening then only i can blink my eyes for every activity of an human organism every activity of any organisms mainly depends upon protein synthesis so that protein synthesis the proteins which are synthesized is happening in ribosomes ribosomes are very important element in the cytoplasm because the protein synthesis will be happening in this ribosomes so ribosomes mitochondria cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane and in between the element jelly like substance which is present is called as cytoplasm and this is endoplasmic reticulum what is this endoplasmic reticulum the food which comes inside will go inside the nuclear through this endoplasmic reticulum the waste which is coming out from the nuclear will go out of the cell membrane through the endoplasmic reticulum this endoplasmic reticulum will be transferring the molecules inside outside inside outside the transferring of the molecules will be happening by this endoplasmic reticulum so two types of endoplasmic reticulums are there smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum simple in rough endoplasmic reticulum the food molecules will be transferred in smooth endoplasmic reticulum the excreta or the waste will be transplanted or transported or molecules are moved or simply we can remember endoplasmic reticulum is what or is an element within the plasma membrane which will be helpful in movement of molecules from one part of the cell to another part of the cell that is the main function of endoplasmic reticulum so these are the major parts these are the major parts so nucleus is a major part inside the nucleus what is present is called as nucleolus the thread like structure is called as chromatin there is endoplasmic reticulum there is ribosomes there is mitochondria there is plasma membrane there is cytoplasm these are the most important parts of the cell cells are of two types as i told you one is eukaryotic cells other is prokaryotic cells eukaryotic are those organisms which are having multiple cells as i told you example is human being prokaryotic cells are those organisms which are of single cell without any nucleus those are called as prokaryotic cells amoeba or bacteria or blue grain algae are the best examples of prokaryotic cells so cells components of cells what are the elements which are present in the cell cell membrane the cell is enclosed within the a, a thread like structure or a membrane like structure is called as cell membrane all the components of the cell are enclosed within the cell membrane so cell membrane is a closed system cell is a closed system because of cell membrane cell membrane is a border cytoplasm 
the jelly like substance which is present the jelly like substance which is present between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane is called as cytoplasm ribosomes mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum these all elements are present within the cytoplasm and the cytoplasm will be acting like cushion when a force comes and beat the cell membrane the nucleus is very very fragile so the nucleus with a little shock also the nucleus the nucleus will destroy so the jelly like substance called as cytoplasm will act like a cushion will act like a shock absorber it will not allow it will not allow the nucleus to destroy so the jelly like substance which is present between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane is acting like a shock absorber to protect the nucleus and the nucleus is protected by nuclear membrane mitochondria is called as power house of the cells because it converts the food into energy atp form of energy atp form of energy is converted by the mitochondria the complete cell will be getting the energy from mitochondria ribosomes the major function of ribosomes is protein synthesis the synthesis of the protein what is protein synthesis sir the existence of me whatever i am doing whatever all actions i am doing is called as protein synthesis so that is in ribosomes the protein synthesis will be happening in ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum the movement of molecules the transportation of molecules from one part of the cell to another part of the cell will be happening through this endoplasmic reticulum nucleus the nucleus is a enclosed substance of chromatin the nucleus is popular not because of nucleus the nucleus is a, a area which is enclosing chromatin because the chromatin is present within the nuclear membrane the nucleus became popular nucleus contain thread like structures called as chromosomes this chromosome consists of genes the major function of nucleus it acts as control center of the activities of cells as well as inheritance so the cell that nucleus consists chromosomes that chromosomes again understand this is nucleus this is cell this is cell membrane this is nuclear membrane in this cell originally chromatin is present thread like structure in a winded form winded form is called as chromatin when it is arranged form when the chromatin will be arranged means when it is ready for cell division the chromatin will be formed in the form of chromosomes and when it is ready to divide then it will form in the form of chromatid a strip so this particular chromatin in winded form when it is ready for cell division it transforms into chromosomes example in this chromosome i am taking it as only one chromosome i will take chromosome is present individual is called as chromatid two chromatids is called as sister chromatids so here in chromosome a combination of sister cro sister chromatid is called as chromosomes each is called as chromatid in their chromatid a part of chromatid is called as gene what is gene gene is a structural part of chromosome means dna listen very important nucleus chromatin when it is ready to get cell division it will be arranged in the form of chromosomes that arranged form is called as chromosomes for your visualization so chromosome chromosome per se chromosome number in a human being there are 23 pairs of chromosomes are there means 46 chromosomes are there 22 pairs of chromosomes are called as 22 pairs of chromosomes are called as autosomal chromosomal pairs 23 pairs of chromosomes are there in that 1 to 22 chromosomal pairs are called as autosomal chromosomal pair or non sexual chromosomal pair 1 to 22 chromosomal pair which means 1 to 44 chromosomes are called as autosomal chromosomal pair autosomal chromosomes a 1 to 22 pairs is called as autosomal chromosomal pairs and the 23rd pair is called as sexual chromosomal pair in that 23rd sexual chromosomal pair two chromosomes will be present one is called as x other is called as y if in the 23rd chromosomal pair if it is x one chromosome is x 45th chromosome is x and 46th chromosome is y then the 23rd pair is called as xy then it is called as man 
in the 23rd pair of chromosome if the 45th chromosome and 46th chromosomes are xx it is called as female woman so whether that particular individual is a male or female we can know by 23rd pair so the 23rd pair means 45th chromosome and 26th chromosome together is called as 23rd chromosomal pair 45th chromosome is x and the 46th chromosome is y then xy it is called as male 45th chromosome is x and 46th chromosome is x then the individual is called as female xx is female and xy is called as male so in the process of sexual reproduction 22 chromosomes will come from father 22 chromosomes will come from mother both will fuse together in the baby so it will become 22 chromosomal pair so 1 to 44 chromosomes will be called as 22 chromosomal pair in that chromosomal pair one will be from father and one will be from mother so in me also 22 chromosomes came from my father 22 chromosomes came from my mother so i am having 44 chromosomal pairs which are called as autosomal chromosomal pair or non sexual chromosomal pair but 23rd chromosomal pair generally from mother x will come every time generally from mother x will come from all the times but from father sometimes it comes x sometimes it comes y so when 23rd pair or 23rd pair one chromosome which is 45th chromosome if it every time from mother it will be x only but it is from the father it can be x or y if from the 46th chromosome 23rd pair 46th chromosome will be coming from father so if from the father is donating x then the baby will be girl if the father is donating y then the baby will be boy so it is the father who is a determining factor of the fetus it is a father who is responsible whether the baby should be boy or girl but not the mother mother is neither never the determining factor of being a mother baby or a girl baby boy or a baby girl it is a father so 22 will be same from the father 22 will be same from the mother both come together in the baby it will become 22 chromosomal pair so determining will be the 23rd chromosomal pair which is called a sexual chromosomal pair 45th will be from mother same x but the mother will be father will be x or y if the father is giving x it is called as female if father is donating y it is called as now you see now i am taking one chromosome I am visualizing the chromosome. Now I am taking one chromosome and I am visualizing the chromosome. When I am visualizing the chromosome, when I am seeing the chromosome in a microscope, when I am seeing the chromosome in a microscope, every microscope is made up of small structural element. That small structural element is called as DNA. That small structural element called as DNA every chromosome will be a combination of dna for one chromosome the dna kilometer will be somewhere around 100 kilometers 100 kilometers of dna will combine to form one chromosome so the building block of chromosome is called as dna the building block of chromosome is called as dna the dna is combined to form chromosome what is dna sir DNA is a structural element of chromosome. DNA is because of structural element of chromosome. For example, a wall is there. A wall. How the wall is made? The wall is made by bricks. Bricks, 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 bricks became wall. One one brick is called as one one DNA. So com one chromosome is called as combination of DNAs one wall is called as combination of bricks so bricks combine to form a wall and the dna is combined to form chromosome so the combination of dna is called as chromosome sir then what is gene what is gene see if when i am making a wall one brick another brick another brick another brick another brick one i have first i have to make a line and i have to keep mortar in between and I have to join the bricks. One line completed, then second line completed, then third line completed. Means one one line is important, one one line is important. I cannot keep four 
and I cannot keep 10 again, I cannot keep 2 again, I cannot keep 3 again. One line I have to complete, another line I have to complete means what? That combination of bricks is having a function. The combination of brick is having a function. Combination of brick is having a function. Like the combination of brick, 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 brick became a wall. So, one DNA does not have a function. DNA is a structural element. So, this DNA will form a arrangement like A, T, C, G or A, C, T, G or G, C, T. That arrangement of DNA will have a function. If A, T, C, G one function, A, C, T, G one function, A, C, G, T one function, that arrangement of DNA is will be having a function that functional element is called as gene. DNA per se does not have a function. Chromosome does not have a function. In that chromosome, the chromosome is made up of DNAs and the combination of DNAs, the arrangement of DNAs is called as A does not have any function, P does not have a function, P does not have a function, L does not have a function. E does not have a function, but when I combine it, A, P, P, L, E, it is having a function, it is having a meaning. So, the combination of DNAs is called as gene, the gene will be having the function. Like how A, P, P, L, E does not have a function, the combination of A, P, P, L, E have a function, it is called as, in that way, in a sentence formation, in sentence formation, several words will be there, that several words will be combined together to form a statement. Then that statement will be become a meaningful. But in that statement, several, several meaningful words are there. That meaningful words are called as genes and the complete statement is called as chromosome. So, DNA is just a structural element. DNA is just a structural element. It is a structure. Gene is a functional element, very, very important. DNA does not have any function, any DNA does not have a function, but the combination of DNA will have a A meaningless, P meaningless, another P meaningless, L meaningless, E meaningless, but the combination of AVP, LE is a meaningful. So, combination of DNA is called as gene which is a meaningful. Combination of ABPLE is a meaningful. So, structural element of chromosome is called as DNA and the functional element of chromosome is called as G. So, this is called as DNA, DNA, DNA. This combination of DNA is called as gene. Likewise, several genes will be present. Likewise, several genes will be present. So, what? So, the structural element of chromosome is called as DNA, but functional element of chromosome is one by one I will tell. So, cell membrane we discussed, cell membrane is a closed circuit, the cell is enclosed within the cell. Cytoplasm, it is a, it's a jelly like substance between the nuclear membrane and cell membrane. Mitochondria, power center. Ribosomes, the major function of ribosomes is protein synthesis. The protein synthesis will be happening in ribosomes. Endoplasmic, the function, the movement of all the molecules inside the nucleus and to the cell membrane will be happening through endoplasmic reticulum. Nucleus, a thread like structure is called as chromosomes are enclosed in nuclear membrane. That enclosed body is called as nucleus and what is present in the nucleus is called as nucleolus. The major function of the nucleus is controller of the cell. Nucleus will be controlling. Why? Because cell have what? Chromosomes. So, nucleus have chromosome. So, that chromosome will be controlling. So, we can tell that nucleus is a control center control center or the controller of the activities of the cell and the inheritance. What is? Why? Because I got from my father, I got from my mother. What I got? New chromosomes I got. Chromosomes are present where? In the nucleus. Chromosomes are the combination of genes. Chromosomes are considered as structural and functional elements of the cell. So, cell, now I told you in the nucleus. So, now chromosomes are present. So, the chromosomes in the nucleus are the structural element of the cell. And the chromosome is having a function. Chromosome 1 is having a function, chromosome 2 is having a function. But again, when I go deeper, it is not the chromosome which is having the function. In the chromosome, there is a gene. 
so chromosome is a structural as well as functional element of the cell but when i go into the deeper subject whether it is a chromosome which is a functional element means it's not the chromosome in that chromosome there is a gene which is functional like what sir my skin color like what my hair color like what my fat my fat content like what my memory like what my skill like what my physical fitness like what my immunity like what my rbc count like what what is my wbc these all are determined by the genes on the chromosome so for the cell the structural and functional element is chromosome for the chromosome the structural element is dna and the functional element is structural and functional elements of cells chromosomes carry out all the information that helps the cell to grow survive and reproduce chromatid cell division at metaphase chromosome which is ready for cell division i will tell in cell division process when the chromosome is ready it, the nucleus need to be divided into two at that time when it is ready for cell division the chromosomes will be arranged in a a thin rigid pattern it is called as chromatid so winded form is called as chromatin generally in the nucleus what is present is called as chromosome when it is ready for a division it is called as chromatid will be clearly visible as a symmetrical structure which is called as chromatid chromatin a mass of genetic material composed of dna in a winded form in the nucleus is called as chromatin so in the nucleus it is called as chromosome but how it is arranged is called as chromatin at the time of division the so chromosomes will be arranged in a structured variety in a symmetrical form it is called as dna cells are visible chromosomes are visible cell division is nothing but chromosomal division cell division is nothing but chromosomal division like this this is called a cell division one cell is becoming two cells one nucleus is becoming two nucleus one cell membrane is becoming two cell membranes one nuclear membrane is becoming two nuclear membranes 23 pairs of chromosomes is becoming 23 pairs of chromosomes if it is mitosis how many chromosomes are present in the father the same will be present in the daughter after mitosis but in meiosis how many chromosomes are present in the father half will be present in the daughters what is that we will look into it so cell division is nothing but so i want to tell you one cell division is nothing but one cell becomes two cells how many chromosomes are there those many chromosomes will be contributed to the two if it is mitosis cell division same will be present in the two daughter cells if it is meiosis cell division half will be present in the two daughters means if it is 32 16 16 will be there if it is meiosis if it is mitosis if it is 32 32 will be there 32 will be here so in that chromosome again chromosome division means what what is the structural part of chromosome dna so chromosome division means dna division again division means four becoming two no replication four are there when it is getting divided same number should present first four should become eight and eight will go four this side and four will go this side or four is there it is divided two here it will be divided two here and it get replicates it becomes four and four again how i will tell you so cell division is nothing but dna division for that first we have to understand dna structure what is dna structure what is dna structure dna structure and dna replication nucleus contains chromosomes chromosomes contains dna dna have a structure every dna is a combination of three components phosphate pentose sugar molecule and nitrogenous base this three together is called as nucleotide dna structure dna is double helical structure double helical structure 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash double helical structure 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash double helical structure this is the structure of dna this is structure of dna every dna is a combination of nucleotides 
every DNA is a combination of nucleotide. So this nucleotide join with another nucleotide, join with another nucleotide, join with another nucleotide. It becomes polynucleotide. Polynucleotide. DNA is a combination of nucleotide and one nucleotide is called as and one every nucleotide or one nucleotide consists of nitrogenous base. So, every nucleotide is a combination of this three. How? Phosphate, pentose 5, 1, 2, 3, pentose sugar molecule and nitrogenous bases. How it is there? This one is called as nucleotide 1. So, one nucleotide will combine with another nucleotide, another nucleotide combine with another nucleotide like this. Lacks of nucleotides will combine to form one DNA and one nucleotide is a combination of this is phosphate, that is pentose sugar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pentose 5, pentose sugar molecule, this is nitrogenous bose. Every pentose sugar molecule will be joined with phosphate, from phosphate to pentose sugar molecule, nitrogenous base and this is this side and this will be base pairing with that side. Again this side there will be nitrogenous base, a pentose sugar molecule and a phosphate. Again it will be a pentose sugar molecule, a nitrogenous base and a it like this. So, base pairing will be happening. Base pairing will happen. This combination of one nucleotide combines with another nucleotide. In this, the nitrogenous bases are 4. Our nitrogenous base is divided into 2. One is called as pyrimidines, pyrimidines, another is called as purines. The nitrogenous bases are divided into 2 pyrimidines and purines. Pyrimid, ticket collector, thymine, cytosine, pyrimidine, TC, ticket collector, thymine and cytosine, purine, pure advocate general, AG, adenine and guanine, pyrimidine, TC, thymine and cytosine, purine, advocate general, adenine and guanine. This side one purine will base pair with another side pyrimidine. This side purine will base pair with pyrimidine or if this side purine, that side pyrimidine. If this side pyrimidine, that side purine. So, base pairing will happen opposites. Pyrimidine with purine, purine with pyrimidine. A, T, C, A, G. So, how the base pairing will happen here? A with T, C with G. A with T, A with T, C with G. In this way, the joining will happen. A here with T here, C here, G here, A here, T here, C here, G here or G here, C this side, T here, T here. In that way, the base pairing will be happening. This complete structure is called as DNA structure. Now, I will come into theory part. Nucleus contains chromosomes which are visible as rod shaped structure when the cell is about to divide. Chromosomes contain the information for inheritance of the traits from parents to next generation in the form of DNA molecule. So, I am, I got chromosomes. Generally, I am telling chromosomes, not chromosomes. In the chromosomes, DNAs came into me. So, DNAs are the structural elements which are pumped into me from my father and my mother. So, DNA molecules are the patterns of inheritance. DNA molecules are responsible for inheritance. DNA molecules are patterns of inheritance. Functional segment of DNA are called as genes, yes or no? Functional element of DNA, whether DNA have a function or the combination of DNA have a function. Combination of DNA is called as gene. DNA molecule contain the information for constructing and organizing the cells, the information A, T, C, G. That information, if it is arranged in the proper way, how the cell should form, how the body should function, how the protein synthesis should happen, this all depends upon the DNA structure. Again, DNA structure means arrangement of DNA structure. DNA is the information source for making proteins. If the information is altered, then unique proteins are formed, which is eventually leads to change in the body function. At the time of protein synthesis, I will tell, I will go back and I will explain it, you will understand it. How DNAs are responsible for protein synthesis, everything, you have to remember this. Everything, every function of the human body is because of protein synthesis. And the protein synthesis is because of DNA. DNA structure, DNA has three main components. One is a pentose sugar, technically called as deoxyribose. Base means nitrogenous base, four different bases. What? Adenine, 
guanine, cytosine, thymine, phosphate molecule. This three, this three together is called as this three together is called as nucleotide. Online people focus. See, figure is same. Circle, phosphate. I draw in square, no problem. Circle, phosphate. But pentose sugar is pentose means five. Pent, one, two, three, four. Pentose sugar joined with nitrogenous base. DNA structure three. DNA has three main components. First, I am explaining on blackboard. Then I am showing PPT so that you can understand and recollect. It takes lot of time. It takes lot of energy. Phosphate, pentose sugar molecule, and nitrogenous base. This will connect down. This will connect down to phosphate, then pentose, then nitrogenous base. Again down pentose sugar to phosphate. Again phosphate, pentose sugar, nitrogenous base. Again pentose to phosphate. So it's running down. They are divided into two groups. Which one? Bases. One is pyrimidines and purines. Pyrimidines. Ticket color T C. Thymine and cytosine. Thymine and cytosine. Purines A D. Advocate general. Pure. Advocate adenine and guanine. This is of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six member ring. It is of one, two, three, four, five, six. But fused. Two fused. Which one? Purines. The rings are made up of. These are made up of carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, COH, organic chemistry. Every every nucleotide is made up of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Here there is a small cut. The rings are not only made up of carbon; it is also made up of oxygen and hydrogen. So combination of three elements: carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. This is one nucleotide. This is one nucleotide. So every nucleotide is a combination of phosphate, pentose sugar molecule, nitrogen. This is one nucleotide. So like this, all nucleotides will be common. Then it will become polynucleotide structure. So one polynucleotide st structure is called as one strand. And one polynucleotide strand will base pair with another polynucleotide strand. This base pairing between two strands, the base pairing between two polynucleotide strands is called as one DNA. It's called as a DNA molecule or a DNA structure. Nucleotides are formed by the condensation of pentose sugar, phosphate, and one of the four bases. This is the illustration of one nucleotide. This is one. Nucleotide: pentose, pentose, phosphate, nitrogenous base. This is by phosphodiester linkage. One pentose sugar molecule is linked with one phosphate molecule. How? By one phosphodiester. This linkage is called as phosphodiester linkage. Like this, the link will go on. Like this, the link will go on. Yes, sir. Nucleotides are linked together by which bond? This is covalent bond called phosphodiester. This bond is covalent bond. Ionic bond, covalent bond, covalent bond, phosphodiester linkage, rough, made of two strands of nucleotides that are joined together by hydrogen bonding. Base pairing means what? Hydrogen bonding. One strand, another strand. One strand is called as polynucleotide strand. Another strand is called as polynucleotide strand. The both will be base pairing. What is base pairing? Hydrogen bonding. Bonding will be happening between both of them. Some will be two hydrogen bonding. Some will be with three hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding occurs as a result of complementary base pairing. For example, A with T, A with T, C with Central Government Administrative Tribunal. So A T with base pairing Administrative Tribunal will be formed. When base pairing Central Government will be formed. A with T and C with G. Adenine and thymine pair up. Cytosine and guanine. Each pair is connected through. This is hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonding always occurs between one pyrimidine and one one, py one pyrimidine and one purine. Here, central government is connected by three hydrogen bond. Administrative tribunal is bonded by two hydrogen bonds. CG with three hydrogen bonds. AT with two hydrogen bonds. Complementary base pairing of pyrimidines and purines. Whereas base pairing will happen if it is between C G it is triple if it is A T it is C G it is triple 
if you a t it is double double helix and hydrogen bonding adenine always pair with thymine because they form two hydrogen bond cytosine always bear with with three hydrogen bond a t how many administrative terminal two c g how many three so that is the structure of dna so one nucleotide strand another nucleotide strand polynucleotide strand one nucleotide is joined with another nucleotide it becomes one strand and both are not parallel both are anti parallel so 5 dash to 3 dash there is a cut it will come up it will base pair so 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash anti parallel to each other they are not parallel if it is parallel 5 dash to 3 dash 5 dash to 3 dash we will call it is not parallel 5 dash to 3 dash 3 dash to 5 dash why first the line will be straight but there is a scissor down it will come up and starts base pairing so suddenly if it cut if come up bottom will be coming up top or not bottom will be coming onto the top bottom is 3 dash then this side bottom will top will be 3 dash 5 dash 3 dash again 3 dash 5 dash circular so again it will come back to 5 dash so in that way the base pairing will be happening every dna is in that format of anti parallel to each other 5 dash to 3 dash and 3 dash to now gene genetic information hereditary information gene see dna is a information only but one dna information doesn't have any value combination of dna information will have value so combination of dna information is called as gene information so gene information is responsible for inheritance what is inheriting is dna only but that what is inherited doesn't have any value when there is combined with another dna that arrangement of dna information is called a gene information and that gene information is responsible for inheritance atcg atcg one gene that will be having a information only atcg doesn't have any information or only atcg does a combination of atcg atcg AT, one formula will be having one that formula is called as order of nucleotides make up genetic code genes can contain the information for one polypeptide genes can also regulate how other genes should function all cells of an organism contain the same genetic information but they not all express the same means all the genes in my body every cell of my body have the same genetic information but the gene which is located in which chromosome in which part will have specific function information will be same that is the reason one bed sample is enough to find who i am i the blood can be from any part of my human body why because the blood contain chromosome the chromosome contain dna and the dna across my body is same but that gene which is present in which organism will be having specific function according to that particular location but the genetic information will be so across the body the genetic information will be same but that gene which is present in our human organisms where according to where there will be specific function but however the information will be same across the that is the reason some semen or some spit or some serum or some blood is enough to find who is the person it can be from any part of the body but because the genetic information is same revision see anywhere any any miss or any misunderstanding you ask me this is revision connect to me dna structure dna is a double stranded double or one double why because rna is single stranded rna is only this so specifically i mentioned dna is double stranded double helical helical only no? double helical structure two polypeptide nucleotide polypeptide polynucleotide strands yes or no polynucleotide strands which are joined by peptide bonds so polypeptide nuclear strands polypeptide nucleotide strand every polypeptide nucleotide strand consists of three components phosphate pentose sugar molecule and purines are two advocate general pyrimidines are two ticket collector ratio of one purine will match with another purine central government and administrative tribunal adenine will connect with thymine cytosine will connect with guanine for cg three hydrogen bonding for at double hydrogen bonding every purine will match with another pyrimidine adenine matches with thymine through double hydrogen bond cytosine matches with guanine through triple hydrogen this nucleotide con contains two dna strands this nitrogen bases carry the information which are responsible for inheritance dna strands are anti parallel to each other 5 dash 3 dash and 3 dash 5 dash 
pento sugar this component holds phosphate and nitrogenous bases together pento sugar has five carbon molecules these are no 1 2 3 5 carbon molecules also called as phosphoric acid is responsible for the formation of nucleic acid all these three components together constitute a dna strand it reveals the secret of protein synthesis the operation or functioning of gene depends upon the structure of dna that is dna structure any doubts this is dna structure protein synthesis is there see protein synthesis is there what is that i will tell you again i will come back and i will explain you any doubts up to now everyone somia b we all are small then we became tall 6 feet we became how 5 feet or 6 feet we became how our cells growth happened the size of the cells increased is it really the size of the cells is it really the size of the cells originally the size of the cell will not grow dna will grow when dna is growing the space is not enough when we are small the cell is small so dna is size is increasing so the nuclear membrane is pushing so because of the dna size is increasing the nuclear size is increasing nuclear membrane is increasing the nuclear membrane is pushing cell membrane the cell membrane is pushing tissue the tissue is pushing organelle the organelle is pushing organism in that way our growth is happening our growth is happening mainly because of growth in dna if the dna is growing obviously the size will grow so our height has been increased means is not our height the dna has been increased so the dna pushed the nuclear membrane the nuclear the dna pushed the chromosome the chromosome pushed the nuclear membrane nuclear membrane pushed the cell membrane cell membrane pushed the organ 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 pushed the organism so obviously the height has been increased that increase in the size of dna is called as dna replication increase in size of dna is called as dna replication again for your understanding i told the size here size means what number the dna replication means doubling of dna is happening two dnas are becoming four dnas four dnas are happening eight dnas if the number is increasing the space is enough in nucleus no so when the number is increasing when the size of the dna the number of dnas are increasing it is pushing the nuclear membrane the nuclear membrane is pushing 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 obviously the growth when it is because of doubling of dna english meaning of doubling is replication the english meaning of doubling is called as replication replication doubling one becoming two two becoming four four becoming eight eight becoming 16 16 becoming 32 32 becoming dna replication so how this dna replication will happen this is dna one dna i told the number should increase that is called as dna replication when the number is increasing the size increase the, the enlargement the growth so one dna should become two dna one dna should become one is becoming one one means one is becoming two when one became two the size is enough no when one is become on bed only one person can sleep but the second person come means it is not sufficient so compulsory we have to increase the size of the bed one person was there it become two persons so size increase growth this is called as replication technically is nothing but doubling so how this doubling will happen how this doubling will happen first this is winded form double helical double means double strand helical double helical winded form or helical structure double helical structure now i am unwinding now i am unwinding when i am unwinding both the strand got separated both the strand got separated so this is dna then what i did i unwinded so the joining which is there i separated it so it became two strands but however it is anti parallel to each other 5 dash 3 dash 3 dash 5 dash so 5 dash 3 dash 3 dash 5 dash this is one dna strand this is this is another dna strand combination is called as dna 
or polynucleotide strand, polynucleotide strand. The combination of polynucleotide strand is called as DNA. Or single DNA strand, single DNA strand combination is called as DNA. Why? Because DNA is double helical. Double is called as DNA. If not, it's in incomplete DNA. So I got two incomplete DNAs. I have nucleotide strand. 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 So when I unwinded it. So obviously the hydrogen bond which is present between pyrimidine pure and pure and pyrimidine and pyrimidine, and pyrimidine, and pyrimidine and got broken down. Now both the DNAs got separated. Now I want to make replication. Now this one became half and half. Now if I replicate, copy, what is present here? If I make here, what is present here? If I copy here, one became two. So what one thing you have to understand. DNA cannot replicate by itself. It is some initiation is required. That is general tendency. You have to remember it. The general tendency is DNA cannot replicate by itself. Why? Because DNA is double helical, two structure. So DNA cannot replicate. So what will happen? But RNA is single strand or double strand? Single strand. So RNA primer enzymes will play major role here. Enzymes will play major role. Enzyme is catalyst. Like if I get headache, I will take tablet. Why? Tablet is an enzyme. Tablet is a chemical which will give some, some relief. It is an enzyme. It is having some chemicals like carbon in limited amount, oxygen in limited amount, hydrogen in limited amount or nitrogen in limited amount. So it will give relief. Tablet is an enzyme. Here enzyme, double helical structure, it got unwinded into two. This is by an enzyme called as I pumped a helicase enzyme and this helicase enzyme has divided into two. Now two strands I got. Now I want to replicate it. I want to copy it. But a DNA strand cannot come one. Why? Because DNA strand every time is two. But RNA strand is one. So I can produce one RNA strand. So what I did, I went with second enzyme which is called as primase. It's called as primase en enzyme. This primase enzyme has initiated, this primase enzyme has initiated, is initiated a RNA primer. Only one difference is there, ATCG in DNA, AU, AU, CG in RNA. In place of T, what will be there in RNA? Uracil will be there. So, I started base, I, I found, I made one RNA primer. Why? Because RNA primer can come as a single strand. Why? Because RNA itself is a single strand. So, this, through this primase enzyme, through this primase enzyme, for this DNA strand, if it is A, here it will be what? For A, what will be the base pair? T. T but it is RNA. In place of T, what is there? U. Uracil. A, U, T, A, C, G, G, C, in that way it started evolving. So, one RNA primer came into existence. So, what happened? Now, for DNA, one RNA, one, one support came into existence. For one DNA, one RNA came for support. Now, after the support, now no requirement. Now, I can, now what I will do? I will develop DNA on this. I will develop DNA on this RNA primer. For that, what I will do? I will have one enzyme called as DNA polymerase enzyme. So, this DNA polymerase enzyme, what it will do? On the RNA, already a line has been made, no? On that, a DNA will come and the base pairing will start. And the base pairing will start. And the base pairing will start. Now, you remember this. You will understand. I will go back and I will come back. See. Six steps in DNA replication. DNA replication can be observed in S phase of interface during the division of cell. At the time of cell division, I will tell what is S phase. But now, unwinding of DNA. Whether unwinding of DNA happened or not? Unwinding of DNA happened with what enzyme? Helicase. Unwinding of DNA takes place by an enzyme called as helicase. Unwinding happened. Number two, both got separated. So, for DNA, another DNA cannot be copied. Why? Because DNA is a double standard. So, only RNA can be made. Initiation, 
primase is an enzyme released from RNA primer in order to initiate DNA duplication. The initial impetus for DNA replication is given by RNA primer. So, RNA is single stranded. So, first RNA came into existence through what enzyme? Primase. RNA got developed. Now, I have to remove the RNA and I have to develop a DNA. Formation of DNA stands. Daughter stands begins with the help of DNA polymerase. Now, DNA polymerase enzyme came and on the RNA primer, the DNA started developing and it removed the RNA. Fourth, exonucleolus enzyme helps in removal of RNA primer which initiated eventually DNA polymerase helps in stabilizing the complete formation of DNA strand. Again, I am repeating see. Primase, what it, do, what it did? Initiation, DNA polymerase, what it did? It developed, it developed. So, already initiated. So, already one line has been formed. So, no problem. On that, I started developing a DNA. So, DNA base pairing started happening. Now, RNA I do not want. Why? Because my target is to form a DNA duplication. So, I want to remove this RNA. Exonucleolus. Now, I remove this RNA. Now, what I had? Parent stand, daughter stand. This side also, parent stand, daughter stand. So, one DNA became two DNA. Now, you see, helps in removal of RNA primer. Eventually, DNA polymerase helps in stabilizing the complete formation of DNA strand. But what happened? Now, this one, this one I have to join, no? Base pairing should happen, no? Ligase enzyme will come. So, the DNA came here. The DNA came here in the daughter strand. Now, I have to join them. So, I will pump ligase enzyme. So, ligase enzyme, what it will do? The daughter strand, parent strand. The daughter strand, parent strand. Both will start base pairing. So, complete DNA will be formed. And lastly, topoisomerase. Now, see on this sensitive, very, very sensitive, sophisticated, these many enzymes are used helicase, primase, like tablets, like chemicals, helicase, primase, DNA polymerase, exonucleolus, ligase. Whether it will become shock, it will be start, it, 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 it will become vulnerable or not. So, in order to make it stabilize, in order to stabilize it, a topoisomerase enzyme will be used. The enzyme topoisomerase helps in relieving the stress and tension formed on the DNA strand because of each DNA molecule contain one parental strand at the end DNA rewinding again the DNA rewinding happens. So, it becomes what? It becomes again this rewinded DNA one DNA became two DNA. So, here in DNA replication, how many enzymes are playing the major role? Six enzymes are playing the major role. How to remember those six enzymes? HP, DE, LT. HP petrol is taken by divisional engineer for light vehicle training. There will be light vehicle training and heavy vehicles. Two vehicles will be there. So, divisional engineer had took Hindustan Petroleum. HP petrol, H is helicase, P is Primase, D is DNA, DNA polymerase, E is exonucleolus, L is ligase, T is topoisomerase. HP petrol is taken by divisional engineer for light vehicle training, LT. Helicase, primase, DNA polymerase, exonucleolus, ligase, topoisomerase. In this way, the two DNAs are formed from one DNA. Any doubts, please, anyone? DNA replication. Clear? How many, how many enzymes are there? HP, DE, LT. Helicase, primase, DNA polymerase, exonucleolus, ligase, topoisomerase. Online, any doubts? Now, I will tell like a story. Listen. Protein synthesis, everything is protein synthesis, existence, survival, everything is protein synthesis. Proteins are combination of amino acids. Sir, what are proteins? Proteins are hormones. 
proteins are blood proteins are enzymes proteins are serums proteins are blood these all are called as proteins only swell saliva everything is protein if protein doesn't synthesize in the human body man will die or if protein synthesis stop means that means man died only if protein synthesis stopped means man died so survival of man depends upon protein synthesis protein synthesis is nothing but synthesis of proteins proteins are nothing but hormones lipids serums blood these all are called as enzymes all are called as proteins so what as i told you in the beginning ribosomes are the center where the proteins are manufactured protein manufacturing unit is ribosomes so there is something called as transcription and translation there is two procedures two steps in protein synthesis means production of proteins protein is arrangement of amino acid sequence of amino acid is called as protein there are two rnas mrna and trna trna is called as transfer rna ribonucleic acid transfer rna mrna two rnas will be there one is called as mrna other is called as trna trna is called as transfer rna mrna is called as messenger rna so here i want to manufacture a protein what will happen in the in the in the in the in the ribosomes in the ribosomes already one trna will be present already in the ribosomes a trna will be present which is called as transfer rna with a structure a u g c a u g c a g c u one structure will be present in ribosomes means ready made which is called as anticodon anticodon a u g g u a three together is called as one anticodon three together is called as another anticodon three together is called as another anticodon it settled in ribosomes in the nucleus in the chromosome in the dna the dna will be unwinded one rna will come at the time of proteins every time in the protein synthesis one by millionth time of second a rna will come dna will be unwinded one parent dna strand another parent dna strand will here no dna structure no dna replication here protein synthesis so separate one rna will come and base pair with dna a with t in place of t what will be there u g with c a with u c with g u with a c with g base pairing will happen when the base pairing is happening in the nucleus why because dna is present in the nucleus so unwinding of the dna happened one dna strand this side another dna strand this side so one one rna will come will form a base pair base pairing is nothing but the information which is present in one strand will be pumped into another strand and information present in one strand will be pumped into another strand when both are combined when both are talking when both are coming together when base pairing is happening so this rna now will be having the message of dna why because both got base paired so what is the message what is the code which is present in the dna is pumped into the rna why because base pairing so now this rna will be called as messenger rna why because this rna will be having the message of and now this rna will be called as mrna now this rna will be called as mrna messenger rna now this rna got the information so what information what type of protein we have to produce so in that particular dna a information will be present what type of proteins are required so this mrna will come out from the base pairing and come out from the nucleus come out from the nuclear membrane into the cytoplasm in cytoplasm ribosome is present in ribosome already trna is waiting so to the trna the mrna will come and mrna trna base pairing will happen so already three a u g or g u a together is called as one anticodon mrna a u g a g u is called as codon so the three codon or three nucleotide codon and three anti nucleotide codon base pairing will happen so when the three nucleotides are matching it is 
codon anticodon matching so what will happen down there will be amino acid so when the three base pair happen and another three base like this codon anticodon of mrna trna mrna trna when the base pairings are happening down the amino acids gets combined amino acid sequence will form this amino acid sequence is called as protein and that protein is called as hormone that combination of amino acid sequence is called as protein that combination of amino acid sequence will happen when there is a base pairing happening between the mrna and trna mrna is nothing but the information which is pumped from dna and trna is already waiting for proper matching when the proper matching is happening the amino acid sequence are getting joined so till that time the base pairing will happen till that time the base pairing will happen till a stop codon will come what is stop codon means where the base pairing will not happen so there the cut will happen and the amino acid sequence will move on this is story now you see see the diagram dna transcription dna unwinded the information present in the dna is pumped into it is called as transcription already trna is waiting mrna trna mating happens in mrna trna base pairing will happen in ribosomes it is called as translation and when proper mrna trna base pairing is happening produce in proteins now step by step you see this is one amino acid one amino acid one upon when joining is happening linear linear arrangement of amino acids is called as proteins how protein are linear chains of amino acids linked by peptide bond this is called as peptide bond how the joining will happen the genetic information which is present in mrna molecule is converted into a protein with a specific sequence of amino acid by taking the help of trna molecule in ribosomes this process is known as protein synthesis i explained what is protein synthesis protein synthesis takes place in cytoplasm of the cell why because ribosome is present in cytoplasm first what is mrna this is rna is responsible to carry the genetic material to the ribosomes and insists as to what kind of proteins are required by the body this process of pumping genetic information from dna to rna is called as transcription so what is happening here dna is responsible for the making of trna trna is held responsible for choosing the correct sequence of amino acid which is required by the body for protein synthesis which can be studied in four steps number 1 the enzyme helicase unwinds dna it rna polymerase enzyme their dna polymerase enzyme why because for the formation of dna but here rna polymerase enzyme for the formation of rna rna polymerase enzyme helps in producing new daughter rna strands by replicating with dna the base pair of dna will match with complementary base pair of rna when the complementary base pairing is happening between dna and rna that means the information present in the dna will be pumped into rna what information this type of proteins we want dna will tell the information no this type of protein we want that information will be given from dna now this rna is called as mrna why because message messages of dna because it carries the genetic information of dna it is called as messenger rna this mrna dissociates from dna and nucleus and moves into ribosome which is present in cytoplasm trna in rhizobrome brings anticodon 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 uac acg acag anticodon three nucleotide is called as one anticodon on top what codon from where mrna see mrna matching see happening au ua gc so when this mrna trna mrna trna mrna trna this is one codon anticodon matching so one amino acid is formed yes correct pair this is the correct amino acid next it will go for another matching if again it is matching a peptide bond will form and another amino acid will form another three another peptide bond will form another amino acid so this chain of this chain of amino acid sequence is called as proteins now you see trna in ribosomes brings anticodon trna ribosomes which brings anticodon matches with what mrna with the codon on mrna in ribosomes to form proteins the next trna molecule moves in and matches with mrna codon 
where the amino acid sequence starts forming by peptide bond. This protein grows until stop. What is stop going on? When match is not happening, when match is not happening, it will cut here. So, this will become one protein. Stop codon means where the mRNA, tRNA match is not happening. So, stop codon. So, when the match is not happening, it will cut. It will become one. This is one protein. Now, another time matching will happen. Another protein. Till the stop codon come, the proteins will be forming, proteins will be forming, proteins will be. It is a circular thing. Where the amino acid sequence starts forming by peptide bond, this protein grows until stop codon is reached. Now, the protein which is formed goes to the desirable location for performing its function, melanin or sweating, here it will come and start sweating. Here it will come and it will start sweating. In that way, the amino acids, the DNA will tell, oh, its temperature is more, go and sweat. If not, the body will become temperature, the temperature will increase. So, the DNA, mRNA, tRNA, amino acid sequence, amino acid sequence is nothing but sweat, the sweat will come here and it will deliver. So, heat is delivered outside, heat is dissipated outside. So, the body temperature will be balanced. Codon means three nucleotide stands together form a codon. Anticodon means three nucleotide forms a anticodon. So, when this base pairing is happening is called as one amino acid. So, when the base pairing is happening codon join, codon anticodon means one amino acid join with another amino acid, join with another amino acid by a peptide bond till a. So, that is one amino acid. It can be sweat, it can be hormone, it can be testosterone, it can be oestrogen, it can, it can be any hormone. It can be any hormone, it can be any serum, it can be any pro anything, anything, anything. According to the DNA will tell, oh, it is a time to sweat mRNA, tRNA, mRNA, tRNA joining, codon, anticodon joining, sweat is released. This is important. Significance of protein synthesis. So, DNA will be giving information that when to sweat and when not to. In Caucasoid, English people, white men, there is absence of information for producing melanin protein, hence the melanin is absent in the racial stock. So, when the hot temperature also there, there will be no sweating. Why? Because that information is absent in DNA. That is the reason these people will not sweat. Within the vicinity of Fukushima, Fukushima nuclear disaster happened in 2011 in Japan. What happened? There is a nuclear reactors, electricity producer generator. A tsunami came and it, it, it destroyed the Fukushima nuclear reactors. After World War II, when the Hiroshima Nagasaki was with bombed, another second big nuclear disaster happened in Japan in 2011, which is called as Fukushima nuclear disaster. The nuclear reactor got totally destroyed by the tsunami. Then what happened? The nuclear elements which are present in the nuclear reactors came out. So, the protein synthesis became malfunction. Now, the DNAs will get Change it, no. When the DNA is got changed, MN, mRNA will be changed. When mRNA, tRNA will be changed. So, the proteins formed will also be changed. Today also, there is mal protein synthesis is happening in the Fukushima prefecture because of nuclear radiation which happened once upon a time. Three mile island in USA, a chemical agent accident happened. A nuclear reactor also happened, a disaster happened. Chernobyl, where? Ukraine, it is also a nuclear disaster, Chernobyl. People are suffering with improper protein synthesis. Why? Because the DNA structure got hampered. The nuclear elements are having the power to destroy the DNAs, to alter the DNA structure. If DNA structure is altered, the function will be altered. Within the vicinity of Fukushima, there are abnormalities in protein synthesis of newly born babies because of nuclear radiation that are present in the atmosphere had altered the DNA structures. So, that means the meaning is if the DNA structure is altered, the proteins produced will be. So, the DNA structure will be altered if there is external agents like nuclear radiation, chemical agents, Bhopal gas tragedy 1984. The children who born to the parents who are present on the scene their children are impacted with nuclear, with genetical disease. Why? Because their DNA got altered because of methyl isocyanate gas. Growth depends upon proper protein synthesis. Your growth, my growth depends upon proper protein synthesis. If improper protein synthesis, my hormones will not release. When my hormones are not released, I will be improper. So, complete growth and development, proper functioning totally depends upon protein synthesis. Clear any doubts?
for example in case of dna it will be atgc in case of rna it will be augc transcription occurs in nucleus dna changes to mrna where translation happens where prelims point of transcription happens where translation happens where transcription means what dna to mrna translation means what mrna to prn doubts please doubts any doubts clear protein synthesis see this is one codon if you see here nitrogenous base nitrogenous base three nucleotide is equal to one codon for your understanding like this a to u t to a c to g what is this mrna this is what dna so base pairing happened and dna is becoming mrna and this mrna from the nucleus is going to ribosome this is one codon everyone clear what are the enzymes involved here helicase rna polymerase what are the enzymes involved in dna replication helicase primase dna polymerase exonucleolus ligase topoisomerase see why i will use ppt because so that a small point also i should not miss that is the reason so today we understood cell components of cell dna structure dna replication and protein synthesis tomorrow we will discuss cell division mitosis meiosis for example mitosis p mat prophase metaphase anaphase telophase p mat g mat p mat prophase metaphase anaphase telophase mitosis is same with meiosis 1 there is separate with respect to meiosis 2 meiosis 1 there is meiosis which is a combination of meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 so tomorrow we will discuss about cell division clear everyone any doubts you can ask me now this sunday you have test complete socio culture anthropology 2 3 4 5 of paper 1 very nice thank you anyone any doubts if any proteins are improperly delivered if proteins are improperly delivered then improper function so pro proteins are improperly delivered depends upon dna if dna is altered because of nuclear radiation or chemical agents or improper cell division in the mother's womb also results in improper dna so man will be suffering with genetical diseases so the man is suffering with genetical diseases or not depends upon the dna and the dna is responsible for protein synthesis so proteins are improperly delivered so functions will be improper so obviously the individual will be suffering with some diseases so cell components of cell dna structure dna replication protein synthesis tomorrow we will discuss on mitosis one thing i will tell you see listen i told prophase metaphase see in cell division process tomorrow again i will tell you but reason understand this in a cell division process there are four phases will be there one will be metaphase other will be growth phase other will be synthesis phase other will be growth phase other will be m phase mitosis phase so 95% will be interphase which is growth phase synthesis phase and growth phase which is called as interphase and only one phase where the division will happen is called as mitosis phase so the dna replication will be happening in this interphase see here dna replication is there no from here to here it is called as dna replication from here to here it is called as dna replication this is called as synthesis phase in synthesis phase only dna replication will happen this is called as mitosis phase which is 5% where the original division will happen in this mitosis phase so here division will happen and the replication will happen in this interphase this interphase is also called as synthesis phase in the synthesis phase only dna replication will happen so this we will discuss tomorrow thank you